So last time we explained why it is that we normally stay on the east coast for our summer holidays, but why this time we decided to head south. So as part of those adventures, this time you find us leaving Dover, out through this rabbit warren of little channels that you have to navigate to get out into the main harbour, and heading west towards Eastbourne. Dover Port Control, Dover Port Control, this is sailing your Daffy, Daffy, over. The Daffy, Daffy Port Control. Yeah, hello Port Control. Uh, we've just left the old marina and we're approaching the uh, western entrance. We want to head west, um, looking for permission to leave, over. Daffy, if you follow the ferry outbound for Western please. Uh, copy that, follow the outbound ferry, over. Go then, just follow him. We've just been discussing the fact that you can still see Dover kind of there, um, and yet we've been going for an hour. Well, we're motor sailing because there's still a bit of tide at the moment, so I thought we're motor sailing out to tide, then once the tide turns, we'll uh, just sail down because although there's not much wind, there's probably enough to sail to Eastbourne, which is where we're going. Um, but anyway, the point of that distance, uh, the, the fact that we can see it um, is really to do with um, Dover's a big place. Not that we haven't gone anywhere in an hour, but it's a big place. So of course you can still um, you can still see it, and of course that's evidenced by the fact that as well that France is a big place, and that's 20 odd miles away, and we can see that as well, which really goes to show just how clear the skies are at the moment, how good the weather is. Um, it hasn't been a perfect year, I imagine, from a sailing point of view, but from an enjoying time on the boat point of view, this year has been brilliant. Warm, sunny, bit of wind, not too much, because of course what with nice sailing winds generally comes you know colder weather and worse sea states and stuff. We're just motoring along here, bobbing around in you know, little or no waves, um, just having a good time. So I don't know how, how well this is going to come out on the camera, but uh, I'm just sitting here looking at our sails like you do when you're on a passage, and um, it's easy to take for granted the work the sail makers do when they build sails. Um, dolphins made our sails, and in many ways they're unexceptional, but on the other hand they're also very good. They're only unexceptional because there's nothing wrong with them. Um, but there's a lot of things right that you take for granted. And um, I've, I've already spoken about what they did for the reefs for us, in that I didn't bother with a third reef. I had a lot of a bigger, bigger first reef and a bigger second reef and didn't bother with a third, because by then we're not putting the sails up. And they did that perfectly. And I've just been sitting here looking at the uh, patches they put on for the, uh, the wear patches, they put on for the spreaders. And they're exactly the right shape and in exactly the right space, uh, the right place. Um, and like I say, that's the sort of thing that you just take for granted. But that took a lot of working out on Dolphin's part, and um, so um, yeah, so I'm very impressed. Like I say, it's um, they're unexceptional, but they're unexceptional because there's nothing wrong with them, which is you, you can't say about all sales. <laughs> Should have filmed it when it was a bit closer. That. Uh, Navy, Coast Guard, whatever type ship. Presumably they're out looking for immigrants. Um, but the little film I took of those um, uh, very cheap but big ribs uh, or, or inflatable boats um, yesterday, when we woke up this morning, there was another four or five of them. Um, it's completely overrun with it to the point where there was people there then planning what they're gonna do with them. But um, that's a side of uh, the immigration problem that you don't see. Uh, 
on our way to Eastbourne today. Um, it's glorious, 14 knots of wind from behind. Okay, currently we're on a bit of a tight reach, but it will be behind in a minute. Um, temperature 26 degrees. It's England. That never happens. So it's like champagne sailing today. Um, we're doing seven knots with the tide and the wind and no engine. So we're loving it. We're just trying to get round Dungeness Power Station, which is just here. It kind of juts right out. And then we can bear off a little bit after that, but then apparently there's a military testing ground, so we can't go too near. Yeah. I obviously was heading the other side, and he was like, it's man, man. That's why I navigate. <laughs> Boats are on the beach as well. They obviously drag them up the shingle. So this sail we had to Eastbourne was just about as perfect a sail as you could get. It was hot, and I don't just mean hot by UK standards, I mean hot. We had just enough wind from the left quarter to blow us down, not too much that anything was a struggle, but enough that we made good time. Flat seas, in fact the only thing that would really have made it perfect would have been if we'd seen dolphins. Well to be fair, we did see some dolphins, but none of them came and played with our boat, so we haven't been able to take that typical YouTube dolphins jumping around the bow wave kind of shot. Anyway, we arrived at Eastbourne in good time. They run the locks at Eastbourne every half an hour, and we judged our approach perfectly. The lock gate was open, there was a couple of boats already in it, and we just sailed straight in. Now to be honest, we made a complete mess of tying up alongside, and I've taken the liberty of editing that bit out to save our embarrassment. But no one got hurt, nothing got damaged, 
just a bit of our pride. Eastbourne Marina is a lovely marina. It's actually not that old and it was all purpose built out of pretty much nothing. It's a big place. There's not just the marina you see in front of us with the boats in it, but there's lots of smaller ones branching off it all around. And then the houses are built right next to the water. So if you're into your sailing and you live on the east coast, it's a pretty good place to be really. You can have a nice house and your nice boat in your nice marina, all literally on your doorstep. In keeping of we made a mess of tying up at the lock, we also made a mess of coming into here. Bit of a breakdown in communication. Hannah said next to the blue boat. I took that to mean the berth next to the blue boat, but she meant next to the blue boat because we're coming up to it, so on the other side of it. Now fortunately for us, our boat is pretty well behaved in reverse. You get some control, except for two things. One is the prop walk was going the wrong way to help me turn round. And two, the space, although this wasn't confined compared to some marinas, there wasn't really enough space to go backwards to get the rudder to do any biting. So with the rudder not getting a grip and the prop walk making us walk the wrong way, I had to go backwards and forwards quite a few times before I got it to turn round. Fortunately, of course, it's a lovely sunny day and there's not that much wind in the marina and there was no other boats, so we had plenty of time to sort it all out. And just to make up for all that, when we did finally arrive at the berth, that happened perfectly. If we go out and then turn around and come again. I think that's the easiest way. Or do you think you can turn it from this angle? Now we got good friends in Eastbourne, and as this was a holiday, we spent the next day, well, doing holiday things. 